on guys today I want to show you how you can start making money on Amazon with just $50 to start um, could be a little bit less depends how you want to start but the technique I'm gonna be showing is called retail arbitrage so if you watch my other videos you know what I do is private labeling you need about a thousand dollars to begin with that you can make more money doing private labeling it's a little less work too and it's a lot more scalable however this is how a lot of people start again it's called retail arbitrage what it really is is finding deals on different websites different stores um, and then reselling them on Amazon for more. Now, why would someone buy it on Amazon if it's more? Most people don't check multiple sites when they buy things, or especially deal websites. A lot of the coupons are hidden, and a lot of people have done this. So I decided to try this for a month, and I turned, what did I do? I turned $300 into $1,000 in about a month. I was working probably, probably three or four days a week for three or four hours uh, in order to do that. Uh, you don't need to start with that much money. But the more money you have, the faster you can grow. Like I said, you can start with $50. First thing you need to do is sign up for Amazon. It is $40 a month. However, if you're going to be starting with this, you can start with an individual account, which they take a percentage, uh, a little higher fee, but it's not $40 a month. I still recommend the professional seller, $40 a month. But this is going to be a two-part series, guys. So this first video, will be showing you how to find the products, what to do. Second part will be the back end, how to ship them in, how to list them, and whatnot. So let's jump into this. The first thing I always do is I find a deal website. So this one's called Fat Wallet. Now for people not in the US, you won't have this. However, you can use a regular stores website. You can go to Walmart's clearance section online. You can do this in person too. Uh, look up different things, look them up on Amazon. On the Amazon seller app, you can scan a barcode and it'll pull it up and straight tell you the fees and everything. So this is the website I like to go to. If you wanna uh, search in a category, you can. I went to electronics and computers just because I know electronics usually do pretty good for flipping like this. So let's jump into this and look at some examples. So I did scope out one already um, that was decent. So I was a little bit farther down here. So this right here. So this one is $28.80 when we use a coupon, uh, free shipping. Yeah, free shipping on orders over 25. So we get free shipping. It's $28.80. So all I do is copy and paste this I'll go over here on Amazon and I'll search this up make sure you're in all departments here I already did this for you guys so it pulls up this you can see it's selling for $59.99 with free shipping so if we get in here and don't have free shipping okay so it's fulfilled by Amazon it is prime so when you see something's prime here that means the person who's selling it so pretend it's us sent it into Amazon um, and Amazon's fulfilling it. That's how things qualify for Prime, and that's what we're going to be doing. We buy a couple units of things, we send them into Amazon, and so on. So we see it sells for 60, we can buy it for 28. Obviously, that's a pretty big margin, but how do we know all the costs that actually go into this? So we saw there's not a lot of people selling this. That's good. We don't want like 20 different sellers because then ours will take longer to sell or may not sell. The next thing we want to check is to make sure, well one, you're allowed to sell this brand, this small brand I would assume you're allowed to. Things like Nike you can't sell usually, Apple, bigger brands like that. Um, some you can though, Beats and whatnot, you can't. So next thing I do is scroll down and look at their best seller rank. So we can see it's 2000 in tools and home improvement. We don't care about subcategories, we want the main one, which is right here. Now what does this mean? Usually if this is under about 75,000, it does vary category to category. That means they're selling at least one unit a day. So with 2,000, they're probably selling 10 to 20 a day. So that's enough volume for me. I would want my thing to sell within a week. I usually won't go over 100,000 in sales rank. So it sells quick enough. Uh, there's enough profit, we think. There's not a lot of sellers on it. Uh, they have a good listing here. So let's go see what our profit would be. So all I did here was I type in FBA Calc in Google. And it's the first link right here. And this will tell me the exact fees I'm looking at with this product. So let's say we're going to list ours at $59.99, which I would do because that's the lowest price. Cost to ship to Amazon. Now this will vary a little bit. Usually what I will do is I'll build a box of 10 to 20 products like this um, and ship them in all at, all at once. And it costs me about 50 cents a unit. So maybe $10 for the whole box. There's 20 units in there, 50 cents a unit. But we'll just say we're going to send this in by itself and we'll just say it's $3, which is very high. It won't be that much because Amazon gives you their shipping privileges they have with UPS, FedEx, and whatnot when you go through them. 
So we'll say this is $3. Cost of product, we already know, $28.80 with free shipping. And we click calculate. Make sure you're on Amazon fulfillment here, not yours, because we are sending this in to Amazon for them to do all the shipping, boxing, and everything. So we don't do anything. So you can see here, after all fees, we're looking at $16.17 a profit for spending $28. Not bad, a little over 50% there. So the fees we do look at here is we have $9, which is selling on Amazon fee. That is just 15% of the sale price. Some categories are 12, but most are 15%. So it's 15% of $60. You get that no matter what. And we're looking at 302, which is a fulfillment by Amazon fee, which just means that's what we're paying them per unit for them to box it up, hold it for us, ship it when it sells, and do everything. So we do zero work. Now again, this is called retail arbitrage, guys. It's pretty big. It's usually how a lot of people start Amazon, uh, just because of the money aspect. Again, if you have $28, you can start this one. You don't even need 50. But that's kind of the process I kind of go through. So you can do that. You can look at other things as well. That was kind of just one of the examples. Make sure you're not looking at refurbished either. Let me find another one and I'll show you what might be a bad one if we can find them. Now keep in mind, you will find cheaper products. I normally won't bother if it's not at least $7 profit. Um, it's kind of a lot of work if you're not making much. All right, let's look at these real fast. So normally it says they're $35.99, they're $10.99, free shipping with Amazon Prime. Okay, so these are on Amazon. So this is a deal on Amazon, so we don't even want to look at these because we're reselling on Amazon. So let's go back to coupons and deals and let's try one more category. Let's try babies, kids, and toys. I like toys and electronics a lot um, for retail arbitrage. Now again, you guys, if you do have the money, if you have $1,000 to start, go straight to private labeling. Um, don't waste your time doing this unless you need to build the money. And like I said, you can normally double or triple your money every month. So let's say you start with 200 bucks. You can get to 400, then you can get to 800. So in two months, you can start private labeling by doing this. Now, let's see, let's scroll through here. I won't click on any stuff kind of like this. Uh, Fitbit, you can't sell. Uh, clothing, you cannot. Let's go to toy clearance. So on Walmart, they're having clearance on toys. Let's see what the clearance looks like. So it does take us to Walmart, that's okay. I wanna shop um, in these sections. So let's see, 640 for, let's see, these things. Let's look at these real quick. Now, one thing with huge stores when they're online deals, so individual stores, in-store. Again, you can do this in-store. That's how I usually do it. Um, in-store deals are usually a little bit better because they're not, they're per store. So if a store is selling one thing slow in an area, you can find that, and that's going to be full price on Amazon normally. Okay, these don't sell for enough. Uh, 640 oh, might be a small profit here. So if you're really struggling, guys, on this one, let's see what the profit would be. Like I said, in store, you'll find deals you won't be able to find online just because some stores need to sell things quicker when they've had it on clearance for a while. I prefer Target a lot for electronics. Target's very good. Um, what's that price? Thirteen sixty-five, something like that. It's gonna cost us six forty. Now profit on this guys is probably gonna be too low. So you're gonna make one dollar and eight cents off of spending six dollars forty cents. That's not good. I don't want a dollar profit. It's not worth my time. I would move on and keep looking for something else. But I'm gonna kind of wrap it up there, guys, for you. Um, I feel like that kind of explained it well enough how you need to look for products. So again, look at the best seller rank. Make sure it's under, I'd say, 100,000. Again, it does vary. Uh, the lower, the better. It means they sell quicker because they're number one in that category or number 100,000. It really varies. Make sure you are using the FBA calculator to make sure there is profit and make sure there's not a lot of sellers. If there's more than 10 on a certain listing, now let me show you again how to look at that because I, I didn't go in depth on that. Now let's say on this, this is how you see how many sellers there are. So right here, we see new two from $59.99. Now make sure when you are searching this, you have Prime selected because how Amazon works. So if there's multiple sellers, they fight for what's called the buy box, which means if I click add to cart on the main listing over here, go back. If I click add to cart here and there's multiple sellers, whose would it add? So it's whoever's the lowest price. However, if they do have Prime, they're using Prime, and their price, their price can be up to 15% higher and they'll still get buy box. 
Um, after that, it'll give it to the person with free shipping. However, like I said, up to 15%. So technically, let's pretend this listing doesn't exist and just this bottom guy is here. And I'm going to multiply it by 1.15. I could list this up to $70 and still get the buy box over him, which again, just means if I click add to cart, it'll add my product instead of his, which we want, because we're using Amazon's fulfillment. So that's one thing to make uh, to look out for. I'll usually look at both, click at Prime first, and then see if anyone's really lowballing it on the other one. But other than that, guys, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments. Again, you can do this in store. If you don't live in the U.S. and you don't have a website like Fat Wallet, go into stores or look at stores online clearance section: Toys R Us, Walmart, Target, Kmart, anything, anything, and you will be able to find stuff. I'll guarantee you that. And I will see you guys in the next video. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button and we'll come out with part two soon.